To revive dinosaurs, one has to find fossils spawning in the depths of the world. There are seven types. Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Plant, Tar, Amber fossils and Opal. The rarest being Amber. The last two are a new ore found throughout the world. Occasionally these can drop fossils. One can even create gummies and glass out of Amber. The button will only power adjacent redstone for one tick. Opals can not only yield fossils, but also chunks to create shurikens, ore and opal lesson pearl letting you teleport through walls. The last resource for DNA is petrified wood that can be found in random patches. Tar can be found in lake-shaped sources in swamps and plains, but they don't come alone. Reminiscing of a Pokemon, the Sludge is a large black creature forming near tar pits, slapping enemies with their hands. Upon death, they drop tar fossils. The next step is to craft a DNA analyzer in putting your fossils in flasks. After acquiring the DNA, the player has to craft the cultivator, combining it with organic ooze. This is crafted with bones, wheat and slime. This results in placeable eggs, aquatic eggs, a placeable sac or in embryos. As no relatives are living, an embryo has to be hatched in an incubator. After a while it will break, revealing the baby. However, to craft this machinery, you need to bring back these felines. These large cats, smilodons, can also be found frozen in icebergs. Loot them with the right clicks. When revived, they are hostile to players. In a herd, they'll groom each other, leaving behind fur pieces. These are the vital resource to create birth pods. But how do you revive them with no living relatives? Relatives, as the DNA creates embryos, you force an ocelot to take care of the baby. Now, flora. This mod includes even some plants, which I need to talk about before continuing to the entities. These can be revived via the plant fossils. There are the flowers, Regan Ryan, Saracenia, Leaf Fructus, Benetitales, Archaeosigillaria, and the aquatic Archifructus. Quiraxira are aquatic plants growing from the bottom of the water source to the top. The ancient variant of lily pads are nelombites. The reefs were covered with Clathrodictean. This smaller bush called hostel is important for some dinosaurs. The ginkgo tree may rarely drop their nuts when cut down, which can be cooked or fed to creatures. The wood is colored in yellow. Foxii are large trees needed to be grown in 2x2 two two areas. Another tree is Dryophyllum. These can also drop a new food source, nuts. Now towards the fauna. Most of the dinosaurs will just be created in eggs, which can be placed down and after a while they will hatch. Some entities will be born as an embryo, which either need a living relative or an incubator to be hatched. If it's an aquatic entity, it can just be placed in water. Now they are finally alive, ammonites. The shell pieces can be crafted into a whole one and placed down or created into a war pig. These can be both used in combat and mining. Equipped with a shard shell, the Antarctopelta hates any hostile creature engaging in a rushed fight. Seldom they may drop a few scoots during these squirrels. It can be combined into a heavy weapon dealing out 10 attack damage. These mutated owls are called Anorachnathus. Hunting down arthropods, they also show odd pollination behavior, making crops grow faster. These neutral eye catchers, called Ostroraptor, love to hunt fish and grooming their feathery coat. Occasionally, they may lose a feather, which can be crafted into special boots that negate fall damage. Upon death, they also drop meat. This massive orangutan called Gigantopithecus is one of the most docile creatures in this mod. If offered a revived ancient bamboo silagai, they will grant an exotic fruit stuffed with random items. If broken, it will reveal scrap and other goodies. These can be combined to create a prehistoric fruit. After a while, the player can trade again with this ape. One can either consume the exotic fruit or trade it again in. If this is done, one is granted with a luxurious fruit box. Random goodies can be granted but also luxurious fruit and a handmade bell axe. This otherwise unobtainable weapon deals out 10 damage. All of these exchanges are written in the encyclopedia in-game, so you can revisit this extra information anytime. With the luxurious fruit scrap, the player can exchange the full fruit for a redolent box. Here one can find a handmade club dealing 13 damage. With this last fruit acquired, the player gets access to the last fruit box, Salubrious. Apart from other valuables, one can find the handmade spear dealing 8 damage. 
it can boost one forward. These crocodiles called Rhinoceros are fast hunters. However, if a player has a fabled Crocorina, which can be gathered from the giant Oranutan in a redolent root box and then place a tune on it, this dinosaur will be tamed. This process is quite risky as one has to hold the instrument for a longer time than the song is actually playing, plus the crocodile is quite hostile towards you. Standing over 13 blocks tall, the Brachiosaurus grazes on the leaves of tall trees. However, they distaste being ridden, throwing the players into the air, but also apply the effect preventing a quick death. These can be used as an elytra thrower whenever they are settled. Feeding on fern and horsetails, the massive Cotterlinkus have petite heads. They create grog when fed sweet berries and then milk with a flask. A powerful drink granting absorption, nausea and strength. These massive frogs, real Zabufo, consume most smaller prey that they come across of. During these feeding sessions, they may create saliva, which can create name tabs. They can be settled and ridden, but a player can only control them with a coaty chop on a stick this tiny fish Scominacea are not only a cute addition to your aquarium, but also a good food source. These intimidating creatures are called Dancleosteus, equipped with flexible jaws and crushing teeth, attacking anything at any time. Whenever they kill an animal, more resources will drop. One can pacify them with the flesh of a Scominacea covered in gold. However, it will stop attacking anything after consumption. This dangerous looking dinosaur called Havachanometa is a product of the amber fossil. It attacks by launching a barrage of sharp spines towards its target. To some surprise, it can be tamed with a meaty buffet. Crafted from Cotolorhynchus meat, Scomenacea, and Ostroraptus meat. When domesticated, the owner can ride it and tell it to shed its spine in any direction they like. This keybind can be changed in the controls. Launching seppy substance or stepping with their proboscis, the encrusted is an abomination of an insect. Upon death, they drop their abdomen, which can be crafted into a DNA fridge, as it can store a good amount of blood. Home to coastal swamps and marshlands, the Aryan are peacefully digging for food in the ground. This will uncover additional items such as golden nuggets, iron nuggets, string, or rarely preserved fossils. These can be placed like decoration. This small dinosaur called Kentrosaurus are peaceful creatures equipped with spines at the end of tails. Feeding it wholesale will force it to collapse, damaging anything that walks over it. These greenish toy-like dinosaurs called Majangasaurus are quick charging hunters but quite inaccurate. Their own kind shouldn't stay together as they like to start cannibalism. One can pacify them with Cotolorhynchus meat. A player can also stun their charge with a shield. This can result in acquiring the scutes crafted into a helmet granting strength. This large lizard called Megalania love their personal space and will even attack players if they stay nearby for too long. The bites inflict a venom reducing maximum health. If a player can make Megalania lick its sword, it will coat it in the venom. Do this with a right click. If this lizard is born in a cold environment, it will have a different colored skin than lizards born in warmer biomes. However, the ones native to warm biomes are more aggressive. These large relatives to sloths are called Megatherium. If this entity is raised in a dino pouch, it will be tamed when grown in an adult, allowing the player to ride it or use it to excavate dirt. The small version of a T-Rex are Pachycephalosaurus and have the same behavior as the large lizard being introverts, loving the private space. These will use their heads to attack the unwanted guest, feeding it ginkgo seeds to pacify them for a long amount of time, granting the effect patchy smite, increasing knockback. This blue snake, Peleophis, are aquatic creatures which players should rather leave alone. After some time, they will shed their skin. Players can use these pieces to create shed scale armor. A full set grants extra speed on water and haste. This mixture between an elephant and a camel is called Paraceratherium. However, they are quite aggressive, stomping and slamming against every living as they are infected with a parasite on their back. The well-known T-Rex is surprisingly neutral. However, if provoked, it will not only storm, causing weakness, whipping its tail, but also bite, destroying shields and almost instantly kill. Near death, the T-Rex will fall into a weakened state where it cannot attack or move. Use an adorned staff, an amber on a stick, to heal it. It will grant you rewards by dropping them passively. These are scales and teeth. The scales can be crafted into a trophy and Rex boom boxes, creating a boom effect when activated with redstone. After being healed, they will also be pacified towards the player.
The DNA of a great woolly mammoth can be found in permafrost fossils, but rarely some larger icebergs may have a full mammoth frozen in them. If a tyrant's crown is worn, made of T-Rex scales and teeth and smoothly on fur, the mammoth will respect the player, allowing them to be able to shear their coat as they often have random items frozen aside, ranging from bones, string to brown wool. Upon death they drop meat which can be created into a meat ball. This tiny shark relative is called Stethacanthus, the only uses for decoration of food. This strange bird, Talpanas, love to live in caves. If a player is able to catch one, they can hold them in their hands. Occasionally, they dig in rooted dirt for food, dropping hanging roots. These large majestic herbivores, called Triceratops, could even stand a fight against a T-Rex. They are docile until provoked. If fed ginkgo fruits, one can tame them to be able to ride them and damaging anything in the way. Do this again with the keybind. When moving, they can barely strafe. Growing from a baby to an adult, they will shed their horn. It can be crafted into a trike shield, strong enough to withstand a blow of a T-Rex. These brownish dinosaurs with a crest-colored head are called Olobexaurus. Their behavior and taming food depends on the color of their head. If their head is blue, they are much faster and love raw scomanacea. If white, they have more health and love raw Australopithecus. If orange, they have a stronger attack and eat golden scomanacea. If yellow, they have a special venom, disabling joints in the arms and preventing players to attack and love raw coati. If brown, they have extra armored scales and love raw stethacanthus. Lastly, the Velociraptor are clever creatures, being able to open doors or even press amber buttons. Occasionally, they will shed feathers while doing these activities. Combined with T-Rex teeth, one can create Velocity Shield, boosting one forward when shielding. That was today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then maybe consider to subscribe and leave a like and we will see us in the next video. Stay safe and game, ciao!